We got SLC one together with Pan Drake as a fire mage. We got Sensei Windwalker. Oh, looking very sparkly today. We got ourselves Savannah so here as a hunter. We got ourselves Tins God X the Panda. You got like the fisherman set. You got the gear. You got the tavern, bro. That actually looks kind of good. We got us a Chicago there as well. Where's the team two together? We got ourselves Baba as a Pearl Druid with fried shaman's elemental shaman Garzox as oh as a troll with a wad he said i like the elite version but even the normal version is really good looking we got mobin there as a beastmaster hunter as well as xeno as a demonology warlock good luck and have fun boys it looks like mobin is gonna be mobbin all over the place getting his pets up and running i don't know if his pets actually get camo does savannah get to see the pets does savannah know the pets are there because if you bust out the pets after you hit camo, the pets are going to be near you. I think if Sylvanas can see the pets, he knows where Mobbin is. Because the Mobbin pets are going to be near the hunter at all times. Sylvanas definitely knows that he is there. If he hits up with like a binding shot or something, definitely going to get him out there. <laughs> He's going to be going for the curing person. You open a rapid fire off the bat. Mobbin with his son Sylvanas. Do they have a trinket? I don't think they do. Mobbin just looking to mob him out right there. Kill shot to fall. Sylvanas does get faint death. But Mobbin just Cobra shots him down unfortunate chicago wait no actually not chicago looks like it's gonna be tins got next it's gonna be up fighting shot to follow it's gonna be a tiger's lungs to get out of the route immediately mob and back it up out of the try to go i think for a biting shot of their own is that what's going on Faint death real quickly as they get in back massage but the fist figure by the monk running dragon punch to follow mob and does go for a defensive with a pet sack gonna be tins it's getting rooted i think it was gotten rooted there what is that what it was this god with a spinning crank kick. Do they get the proc? Looking to get the big procs on spinning crank kick, but looking to jab it over to Mobbin. Faint death again by the hunter. Tense. Looking like the mind under proper defensive here. Gonna be maybe a turtle here. Oh, it's gonna be turtle out of the hunter. Tense, kind of low on health, is gonna be going for vivify. If there's a pet stun for those vivifies, it could put him in trouble. Tense, kind of low on health. Kill shots are flying for Mobbin. Big kill. Oh, big rising sun kick for Tense. Taking him out. A fried shammy. Gonna be getting now. Flame shock on to Tense. God X. What tent is he on about, actually? If his name is Tent God X, what tent does he like? I wonder. Maybe tint of his gear. He got that tan look going on. Maybe a bit of blue with the alliance. I think maybe it's blue. Maybe that is his favorite tent of I don't know, weapon enchant? Fred Shammy trying to see if he could round a bit tent. Sees him and hits him with a jab just to close the gap. He does. Oh, trying to go for the jabs. Is he able to? He's actually not able to catch up to him. Just not attacking the totem. He's going to get the Lexi Finch of the Trinket. Fright Shammy knocking Tenth God back out of there. He's going to roll in. And that's going to be Trinket out of the light. And last of Fright Shammy finds so super low on health. Zwen is part of the fight. Going to be that Earth Elemental. Trying to go for an intro. Doesn't quite get it onto Shammy. Shammy able to go for healing. Flush got to follow. No way for him to get interrupted. Got him some huge defenses together with 20% damage reduction. Now while channeling the Flush got trying to land a stun onto Tenth. And Tint is going to zoom right out of there. Bailing out of there completely. It's going to be trying to get himself some resources off of that Earth Elemental. Primordial Bolt is going to hit him. Get himself lined aside to get at least a full flash craft up and running. So the Monk can actually still stay in it. Doesn't have to rotate defenses just yet. Can just work off of that big flash cut. Is able to bust right through. Punch right through. Puncture right through the flash cut. Fight Shammy. And that's going to be Tint getting his own fresh crap being busted out. Might have to use the defensive here. Going to be a stun by the Earth Elemental as he does get himself a bit of a slime shield. Big BDB is up. Trying to go for a Whirling Dragon Punch. Damage onto Fried Champion. Big spinning crank. He's fall. Lex up right after. Fistafurium. Does he have enough damage? Looking to enter right now. Might be able to do it. Big old kick by Tint. It does end up taking him out. And Z no TKO. It's going to be put up in a situation where they're just going to have to play it a little bit slowly with Tin. So far, Tin has done quite a bit of damage. Xeno dropping down a big obla is going to be giving him a lot of fast cast. Demonic trying to follow Tin. Get in with a Mortal Maybe his stun right after. Could be really bad for him. If he gets him with a stun, he's going to go for Diffuse Magic. Reduce a lot of the damage from the Tyrant. But this pets are still doing for lots of physical damage. Just chopping right through him. Stun. Going to be that Karma. As Sin is just going to let the pets attack him. Does not play. Does he play good Karma? I think he actually might play good Karma. I don't think he's playing Ring of Peace. So the good Karma is going to let him recover a bit of health whenever he uses Karma defensively. And Tin is looking for a bit of a reset right now. Vivify spamming up versus Zeno. Zeno. Zeno TKO. Wait, Zeno TKO. Chicago TKO. Wait, are those two familiar? Are those two so are those two related somehow? Because one is Horde, one is Alliance. Interesting. 
Ten's gonna hit with a leg with a full axe. Now it's gonna be. I think he might have missed the BDP. No, gonna be a trick for him either way. As Ten's gonna pull, get us set up. As you know, looks like Ten's gonna back up. But I think he actually misses BDP. Might have actually maybe used it way too quickly there. Gonna be a flash cut up, trying to see if he can interrupt and Xeno does get a full flash either way. And Tins getting blasted by those demon bolts, not looking all that good. It's gonna go for four blue, trying to get himself as many defenses as possible, just trying to recover. Is able to get himself a little bit of healing while staying mobile. Gonna be Axtos, interrupt the flash cut, might put him behind, wants to go aggressive since Xeno's right next to him. Might be able to make something happen. Wall is up for the Warlock, looking to land a fear. Tins seeing the cast, seeing ways that he can't interrupt it. Is going to try to see if he can get some land of sight. And Dino just trying to keep the pressure rolling. Dropping down the obelisk has a lot of pressure for Tins. He's got himself a lot of vilify. Zeno's super low on health though. Tins, is he going to be able to do much here? Zeno got himself a mortal coil, tiring up and running. Even there's going to be a stun to fall into Tins. Does he get it? Decimate Bolt does connect. The next Demon Bolts are going to do a lot of damage. That's going to be a stun around the corner. Tins could be in a really bad time. Big Decimate Bolts to fall to Zeno, taking him out. Oh my goodness. Yo, those Decimate Bolts, as soon as the defensives for def uh, Diffuse fell down, Zeno was able to just blast him out of there. Going for Big's Axe Toss, where Sensei is going to go. Shifting over to the other side by the looks of it. And Sensei is going to go for a bit of Vivify Spam, trying to catch up on hell six minutes into the duel. Trying to see if he might be able to survive. The Xeno is kind of low on health, though. He's going to need to make something happen. Stun is sensitive trying to close the gap. Going to be the Ring of Peace and to a Mortal Coil. And Xeno is going to have to reposition themselves. Hopefully, they have like some kind of port or anything. Sending out the Demon Dog is going to be Big Destiny Bolt onto the Monk. Lex, no, no way out of it. Big BDB is up. Xeno does have a port. He's going to give himself a little bit of healing to follow. No more Gateway to use right now. Trying to maybe land a fear. No interrupt out of Sensei. It looks like Xeno is going to be going down. Man, only so much they could really do about it. Gonna be Garzox next. Over on the team too. Xeno did such a good job trying to fight off the monk. Such a good job. But the second monk to fall right after, as you have no CDs, that's just a rough one. Not much crew really do there. Gonna be a charge by Garzox going for a big old charge versus Sensei. Does clobber him down for a second. But it's gonna be a full weapon sealed by Sensei. Gonna be a, dis a disarm for Garzox. As he had himself full recklessness available. A sensei is just. He got a lot of the defenses, a lot of the counter of counter CC versus Garzox, and now he ported as he got a banner. So far, Garzox gameplay has been just kind of out in the air. Every time Garzox had something going, like a cooldown rolling, a defensive rolling, or maybe even a ba big banner rolling, Sensei either disarmed him, stunned him, or just nowhere near him at all. Gonna be a BDB down. Ooh, big damage on the Sensei just came in. Full rising sun kick at the end. They just ramped up the damage out of nowhere. And Baba Lois is gonna be last one over on Team 2. He has to fight through Sensei, he has to fight through Chicago, as well as Pendrake. Gonna be that bash in the opener. Got himself full dots up and running. Frown Friends, everything. Sensei has a pretty big flesh card shield. Looks like the blades are actually doing a lot of work. Sensei is gonna go for that Karma. Does not play good Karma, so the Karma is gonna do him to Baba. But afterwards, Sensei is gonna dry out in the open, trying to go for a bit of a vip fight. Gonna be a ring of a video out. Might need to get himself a full flesh card. Looks like he's gonna go for images. Rude by Baba. Walking away from Sensei, making sure that Fist of Fury doesn't connect. And Sensei looks like a majority of the big heavy dots is off of him. So Baba is going to have to get those Rip, Rake, Moonfire, all those dots back up in there. Tiger Sphere is back up very, very soon. So if you can wait it out, Sensei popping off the Ford Brew as well as a Battle Master Streak just to give him as much help to work with. Baba, if you can get him down in the stun, put all the full bleeds. It's going to be Sensei Human Racialing out of that one. That's going to be Lexi, but Baba took us out of it immediately. Maybe Baba went into Baba Wall here. Looks like he is actually just going to be bare for him. Quick road to break up the Fist of Fury. Skull Bash onto that heal, but that's going to be a full flash cut. Baba is going to have to put on some big pressure damage into the flesh good in order to max out his opportunity to be able to score a kill thorns is up since it does not want to touch him at all tries to go for a port doesn't really go anywhere baba has target's fury and he does have feral friends it looks like he's gonna go for flesh cut get himself a bit of a reset look at to say a healthy zuen is on him trying to claw right through flesh cut as best as he can duenzo can be controlled now he can be cc'd so since they got himself a full reset Zuen not really getting the big battle like it could be Baba in stealth is able to get that stunning when those spinning crank kicks were flying all over the place. 
Try to see if we can get the Feral out. Karma for this big bleeds, but as soon as that Karma is over, Sensei is just feeling the full pressure. BDB is down, trying to go for Big Sun. This is going to be Sensei, but second down, this single defensive actually has to go stop to heal himself. Fist of Fury onto Baba, but again, play the defensive Sensei. At no health at all, bashed by the Feral. And I think he's going to have him here. Big bleeds still rolling. Vivifies are running. Sensei narrowly escaping death. There's uh, no health whatsoever. Trying to spin in, trying to drag and kick across. Needs a heal right now. Does get himself a, a, a expel harm. For a quick moment, maim onto Sensei. Ring of boopity bop, booping away the feral. And again, Sensei is still critical low. Trying to go for the when possible. Where every single global, every single cast helps. In cap, does give an opportunity to at least recover a little bit. 10 minutes, 31% dampening, under ton of pressure. Battle match is tricky, getting used. Lots of borrowed health right now. And Sensei trying to go for a stun, but I think since uh, or Baba tried to go for some, but I think since it was yard. Wait, Baba is also low. Bear from does have himself friends to regen. Sensei keeping the feral and bear from not a bad idea. Baba, she got himself some damage. Swarm is on him. Sensei looking to heal. Vivify barely keep it alive. One stun and you're done. And Sensei had no health at all. Looks like Baba does take him. And we continue in our duel today, boys. Pendre going to be up next. Trying to see if he can maybe AoE out Baba as the Feral is going to go for a full reset. Brand by Pendrick, does he have a Ring of Frost? Baba does go for a maim. Pendrick blinks away out of it. So Baba at least was able to deal with it. Could go power shooting. Might want a power shoot and stay on Pendrick. Gonna be full combustion. Baba's gonna have a defensive wall. Maybe even a heal. He's gonna go for defensive region. Quick roar into Pendrick. He still has a lot of cooldowns available. They can throw towards the feral to keep the pressure rolling. Fire bus, fire bus, bash by Baba just to lock him down for a second. Needs to get some reverse pressure on him. Gonna be, I think, maybe feral frenzy something soon. Breath onto the feral. Ring of Frost has a trick it if he needs to. And Baba in bear form cannot go for a roar just yet. Try to go for a clone, maybe interrupted. And this is where Baba can go for a full flash cup. Nothing can stop him at this point. Nothing stops him. Mute to CC. Interrupted Pendrake on fire, so he hasn't, doesn't worry, have to worry about the damage for a second. It was a blink, but Pendrake can still use blinks in order to get himself a defensive. This is a small, tiny shield. It's better than no shield at all. Pendrake super low on health all the time. That's just dotted up. <laughs> now that he blinked. Baba leaping in. Does he go for a stun? Does he go for a big bash? Maybe a main Pedrick looking to get out of there with soul shape. Barely in health left at all. Hovering around and kind of close to dead, but not quite dead. This mage is trying to play it as defensively as possible. He's doing such a good job surviving. A class with no healing. The triple shield and the careful uses of blinks to be able to get himself a shield for just a second is doing well for him. Blink gets himself that shield. Got himself triple shield right afterwards. And Bobby just needs a bit of pressure from range, dude. He can also just bleed him out if he wanted to. Pendrick going for food is trying to get some meats. Baba with a stun, definitely going to be a blink. Pendrick could go for a breath. That's what Baba, when he puts himself in melee, could be a bad situation. The Ring of Frost doesn't quite connect though. Pendrick, he's going to get rooted. Going to be the ice block out of the mage. Has to go for an ice block just to survive this. So for Baba, this is the situation to be in. This is exactly where you want to be. I think it's unfair how much druids can heal in any spec. They can heal for a lot, can they? That is a hybrid class, though. I don't think it's just druid only. In fact, all the hybrid classes can heal for a ton. Because they don't have healing for a mage? I mean, you're surviving. You're doing pretty damn good. You got instant cast burst, too, with fire blast, pyro blast. It's a lot. Pendrake blinking away. All the time for the bleeds. Babas is gonna try to stun him. Trink it out of Pendrake. Trying not to proc his cauterize just yet. Gonna be that combustion. Pendrake again, no cauterize yet. Maybe all the time. Doesn't have all the time. Trying to see if he doesn't need to give out that uh, cauterize just yet. Triple shield is up, but at this high dampening, those shields are not gonna stop you from cauterize bleed. So Baba just needs to get a bit of bleeds in there, get through your shields, and you'll be done, I think. Nova onto Baba. Let's go on a bear form. Could be a frenzy region. Pendrick with the Ring of Frost. Doesn't lock him out. Quick roar to break out before the Ring of Frost completes. Bash to Pendrick. Get himself cat form. He's gonna go in. Maybe get himself a big bite. Again, if he gets Pendrick low enough, I don't think those shields are gonna be enough to deal with our cauterize anymore. They're gonna absorb some of it, but not a lot. Ring of Frost onto Baba. And Pendrick with the last shield. This guy is still alive. Those shields are so good. But I think the bleeds caught rise. I don't know if he got the, uh, the shield to heal through this. He might be able to get a last second. I think it's over. Shields with a blink. Oh my goodness. Trying to go for an invis. Let's get an invis. He might be able to. Baba, he sees him. He's going to pick up the eye. Pendrick is going to be able to get a breath in the opener. Pendrick had no combustion. How are you still alive? How are you still alive? I can't believe it. Is this over now? This is another shield. Another blink. Oh, all the time, but also the teapot. Baba, no. Baba realized his mistake. He realized what's going on. Trying to see if he can kill it real quick. Literally used for our friends and just kill the seed. And Chicago is the last one left. Got full flush cut. Does Baba at least get a flush cut for this? 
Baba's gonna hit him with the root. Gonna be a sprint for Chicago Gut Frost Shock as well as Ghost Moves onto Baba. I don't think he's gonna give this for opportunity to catch her flesh cut at all. Quick roar. Trying to go for a clone. Does he get interrupted? Trinket most likely? Wait. No, Chicago's just gonna sit it. It looks like Baba is still trying to get himself a flesh craft. Does not have it just yet. Chicago is in the situation where they gotta end this deal, but Baba could maybe turn it around. So far, Baba has set himself a hell of a game. Leaping away, Chicago get hit with a stun behind the pillar. Bob is still getting harassed by the Earth Elemental. <laughs> and Chicago looking to land the line of sight onto Bob. Once you hit him with a Flame Shock, but also Frost Shock is good too. He needs to get some sort of slow into Bob, but being a Feral Dude, it's so difficult to slow him down. Grounding Totem for that Cyclone. Perfect opportunity for Chicago just to keep the pressure rolling. Bob with a Thorn. Chicago is going to need to purge him immediately. Wall for Bob. Maybe a bar skin on top of it. Looking to get some damage into Chicago. Quick maim, and it's going to be able to stun him for a moment. Bob is still looking for that recovery. At 25% dampening, I feel like he should be going for the most amount of damage. But he does go into bear from another Feral Friends and whatever healing he can get. At this point, I feel like the only thing that can really help you is maybe a Flash Scout. But you are going to need to get aggressive at some point. You are going to need to go for bleeds. Chicago also can't really heal as Baba does get himself one more Feral Frenzy as an emergency heal. Chicago has quite a few bleeds rolling on him. That's a lot of damage. Trying to max up damage back into Baba. Quick Flash Scout for the Druid is getting interrupted on it. Into Quick Roar. Trying to go for Cyclone. Is there any way to stop it? Grounding Totem stops it. Thunder onto Chaos Feral. And does go for a set. It's just to explode with a lightning bolt on him. Oh my goodness, dude. Baba with a million damn. Got two kills at least. That was a hell of a game, dude, but at least everybody got a chance to play.